Hi, we're Derek and Jenna. We started our homesteading journey in 2011 with five small children, a garden, and a few chicks. Since then, we've added three more kids and a whole lot of animals. We're currently renting 37 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we raise grass-fed beef, grass-fed dairy, pastured poultry and pork, free-range eggs, and a large garden. We also have a couple pet goats, several barn cats, and a beagle. We're working on moving from growing just our own food to selling locally. We homeschool our children and are a full-time family with hopes and goals of farming for a living. We would love to welcome you all to follow our family on our journey. Hey, y'all. Hey. Well, well. Um, <laughs> we... You go ahead. I don't even know how to... We, we, I guess we're going to have to move. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> you told me to go ahead and then you told them. Well, you looked confused. <laughs> Like Obviously, we didn't plan what we were going to say for this no, video. No, we, um, um, the house isn't livable. We talked about that before. The house mm -hmm. has mold. Um, it's to the point where I've been out of the environment. So anytime I walk in the house, which I'm not going in because I react, I start getting my throat's really messing up, my head. Um, it's just <clears throat> very apparent that the house has too much mold for us to be able to go back in it and live in it. Um, or any, any and, it, and it's not really um, not really something you can remediate the mold no. it's it's uh, it's within the walls in the stud bays it's an older single wide trailer and um, it's just it's just not really worth fixing yeah. and uh, um, we talked with our landlord and she understands completely she's mm -hmm. an old family friend so we um, we wanted to talk with her about our plans moving forward or our we don't really have plans ideas, or ideas or thoughts, that we're what we're praying to move about. Toward, yeah. yeah, what we're praying about and what she's going to do. Um, she is actually going to be selling the farm. Mm -hmm. um, she's something that she really needs to do. Um, and so uh, if anybody's looking for a farm yeah, with this the one land, will be for this sale. one's going to be for sale. Yeah. But yes, yeah, she is selling the farm and we have been praying about it and talking about what we're going to do. We obviously need land because we have a lot of animals. Yep. Still um, going to farm and so homestead. So obviously, yeah, we aren't going to stop because we just put out the video. We want to do this for a living. Yep. We have the animals to start being able to do beef. Um, we get every, we do everything backwards. We get the animals and then we've got to find the land. It's We don't put the cart before the horse. We put the animals before the land. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. Don't know. So we need a lot, a good bit of land. I'd say a minimum, bare minimum of like 30 acres. Um, that would be an absolute bare minimum. Mm -hmm. More the merrier of well, right. 100 acres or more, yeah. but you know, realistically, you know, that's, you know, whatever. We know God has a plan. Um, the other thing, the big thing with what we're talking about with moving is we are very open to moving away from this area. We are talking about moving to East Tennessee. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. We're very interested in that area. When we lived in Florida before we moved back after the hurricane or the hur hurricane, you know, pushed us into the position <laughs> where we had to move. We had been t planning to move back to the mountains at some point. We talked about in a lot of videos and Tennessee was one on the top of the list. We were go going between, you know, Virginia and Tennessee were on the list um, mm -hmm. leaning towards Tennessee. So we've talked about moving to Tennessee for years. We're not 100% set on the fact that we're like moving to Tennessee, but that's yeah, what we're leaning towards right now. Yeah, it, um, at, at in least, the mountains in East Tennessee, we yeah, really love that area. That's where that would be our number one pick, and then um, Southwest Virginia, Southwest is still Virginia on the list. is still on the list. Yeah. Yep. Um, we, I don't know, just the land prices seem to be more in Tennessee. Um, but the laws that for what we want to do here are better in Tennessee. Yeah. Um, so it's just kind of, we're, we're just like praying, praying. yeah, we're, whatever God has is what we want. And I um, guess we're kind of be still in the same general region of, you know, the Appalachian Mountains and yeah. similar areas, you know, similar topography, um, all of that sort of thing. We just, so all of that being said, we are looking for, we would love to have an owner finance situation. Like that yes. would be ideal. I mean, my dream is the old farmhouse and, you know, the whole shebang, but yeah. um, we need a decent sized house for our family. We've been living in a uh, small, we lived in the camper, then we lived in the small single wide trailer, and now we're back in the camper. We want to spread out. <laughs> we need, yeah. like, we would love to have four bedrooms and a big house for our family. Um, 
would love a basement, you know, or three bedrooms. And if it had a basement, we could add bedrooms, you know, whatever. Yeah. There's 10 of us. So we do need space. Jack's we need more getting space ready to turn 18 and he, he needs his own space too. Yeah. <laughs> it would be nice to have more space than we've been yeah. having. I'd love to be able to set up a sewing room. Oh my goodness. I haven't been able to actively sew in a long time because it's a big ordeal to get my sewing stuff out. So anyway, um, we need a lot of space. We need a lot of space for our animals. Um, you know, we realize the logistics of moving our entire homestead is going to be insane. Yeah. We've been talking about it. We have a couple of people that are willing to help us, which is awesome because we have um, a lot. the household stuff to move. We have the farm stuff to move. We have the cooler. We have my greenhouse that's not put together. We have all the pieces to that. We have, we have feed the, sheds, the chicken hay wagon um, frame. We'd love to get moved fairly soon. We don't really know realistically a time frame. Um, I know ideally I to, before the garden has that's to go in my, the ground. That's what yes. I mean, you know, gardening, you start putting stuff in the ground in May in this area as far as beans and things like that. So I'm like, I am going to start so seeds. Hurry up, God. <laughs> yeah, God, come on. Yeah. Um, we are going to start our seeds. We're going to start tomatoes and peppers and all that because we can transport those wherever we go. So yep. um, we just appreciate that's you That's another thing that we didn't know that we were going to be without a house or going to be moving. But like what six weeks ago, we put in the order for the bigger yeah, seed we cells. Bought bigger seed we bought trays, like so two we... inch by two inch seed trays, which was overkill. We knew it, but for some reason I just thought this is ones I want, and which will allow us to start our stuff still on time, yeah. and it can it won't get root bound. Even if we're you know it'll, it'll they can live in there until we get moved, and yep. it'll be fine. I just thought of that. Yeah, that's how that's God true. works. Yep. But yeah, so for the second time. <laughs> in two and a half years we are living in a camper yep we don't have a house with 10 of us with 10 of us but hey you know it is what it is it's really not bad it's we, not. we don't mind it's cozy and comfy and the kids are happy they yep. don't care we're we're just making the best of it and we it's an adventure and we know that this is just a stepping stone to the next phase which is hopefully a forever yes. homestead that's our goal that's so. what our, we want <laughs> we've got most of the house packed up um we're just yeah. we're we're preparing i guess we're we're building the ark before we're, we've and we've never seen rain you know <laughs> kind of like like noah did but um we yeah. we we know that god is going to move us we're packing um, everything that we can't so we're just yeah everything that we don't need to live every day we're packing it up and doing it organized and not like after the hurricane where we had to just shove that stuff in bags and boxes and get it loaded. And label everything random stuff. I'm I don't like, even label know why boxes. We, yeah, why do we label anything? <laughs> but, um, um, so anyway, like we were saying, we really love to have a owner finance situation. Um, we haven't pursued a lot as far as other options with financing. We're self-employed, so that makes things a little bit complicated. But So an owner finance situation would be awesome, but we yeah. just trust that God has a plan. So um, if you're in that area of East Tennessee and you know of anything, please feel free to share with us if there's yes. any farms available that you know of or um, just kind of keep your eyes peeled for us if you don't mind. But most of all, we'd really appreciate your prayers, prayers. as we navigate the craziness that is our life and yeah, move it's, forward. It's, and I mean, God God has brought us through every phase oh, yeah. and to every landing pad. And uh, I feel like the same thing is going to happen again. He's just going to provide it and direct us to it. Yeah. So we're just seeking him. And uh, y'all just pray with us and uh, because we need clear direction and we need another miracle. Yep. So. But we serve the God of miracles, so we're not worried about that. He's a miracle-working God. Yep. So anyway, all right, well, we love and appreciate all of you. Yes. And we are so happy to have your support and have you following us, and we will catch you guys next time.